All right, today I'm going to share with you my Amazon, basically like my Amazon shopping cart or things that I've basically bought. This won't be necessarily a haul to sh hold things up because some things, mm, some things are already like in use. I haven't been asked to do to do this video. I've talked about doing this for quite some time and I'm just now getting around to it. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my iPad of my Amazon. I have found that nine out of 10 times when I look up a product, whether I'm at Walmart or the mall or something, I always go to Amazon to see what the price is there. And if it's cheaper, I go through Amazon because one, I use Ebates and I get cash back from that. It's like having a coupon and then it's cheaper on Amazon and it's free shipping and it comes straight to my door. I have to say, let's start off with my most favorite recent product. And this is actually a subscription and you can get subscription to things from Amazon. And this is a new subscription that I have started buying, which is my dog's dog food. The only reason why I was even going to PetSmart in the first place was to get her dog food because they don't really sell it anywhere else. It's not like something that's at Walmart or Target. Not only that, but Amazon's food is cheaper. It's the, sa it's the same food. It's not like it's any different. Um, and I get a subscription to it. And so I don't even have to think about it. They're gonna deliver it on a monthly time frame, and it comes straight to my door and it's amazing. Plus I use Ebates for it. So if dog food, if pet food was um, part of the deal, I was gonna get a cash back on it. So I'm just gonna go down the list of things that I've been buying and what's been in my cart. This is something I actually don't have yet. And that is the uh, memory foam bath mats. Got them from my daughter's bathroom, her bath, Matt just got out of control and I'm afraid of washing those. The last time that I washed bath mats in my washing machine, it actually broke my washing machine. I do wash them, but now I try to get ones that are a lot lighter um, and hers is just really heavy and I'm just too afraid to put it in there. So I went ahead and ordered these foam bath mats. They're non-slip. I ordered them in gray because it matches her shower curtain and went through Ebates. This list may be boring to you guys, but I'm excited about this next one too. And I actually have it, so I'll show it to you. I ordered an outdoor timer with a remote control for my holiday lights. I'm telling you, if you're gonna install holiday lights on the outside of your house, girl, get you an outdoor timer because having to turn that off every single night is actually a to-do. And then I found out that this timer comes with a freaking remote so even though you can set it to like hours or dawn to dusk kind of thing i still feel like that's a lot of time for lights to be displaying at three four o'clock in the morning so for me i basically take my little remote i don't have to get up and i just click on it on and off obviously can't show you the main unit because it's plugged in outside right now but i will be inserting pictures of what it looks like from Amazon, but here's a little remote just on and off. It's really simple and it works amazing. It's even on a keychain. I don't know why it would be on a keychain, but I love this thing. I also like to buy my daughter some of her Christmas stuff from here. And one of the things that she asks for are movies. She loves movies. And no, she does not watch my videos in case you're wondering, but she asked for Aven Avengers Affinity War. Don't have that yet. I Frankenstein. Um, oh, another thing I did get Loxy some treats i've actually purchased these treats before but i went ahead and purchased another set i love these treats they're one really cute and they're packaged really cute really different from the way i've seen treats packaged not that that should matter uh it should be the quality of the treats and the quality of the treats are amazing they're all natural and they're so good the next item is something that i get asked about all the time when i do cleaning videos which is my bissell power fresh steam mop i think it was a gift i think it was a gift and i don't think it came from amazon but I have purchased parts to the steam mop. So and that's what I love about the steam mop is if something kind of breaks on it or something goes wrong, they sell like little parts for it. Uh, the water container, the little water container you slip in, the little nozzle, the little closing thing, it was plastic, it broke. And I was able to go on Amazon and buy it for like $4. And I didn't have to buy a whole new mop just for this one little freaking thing. So I loved that I could find that solution through Amazon. And then another thing that I recently purchased are the uh, microfiber mop pads. So the steam mop has to have those pads. And sometimes I feel like those reach their life too. 
so I just went and bought a new pack, two fresh new ones for $9.79. But a dry brush, I did get myself some things. I got myself a dry brush and, spoiler alert. Okay, this next item, again, another reason why I just love Amazon, I feel like I go there and it just provides all kinds of solutions to my problems. But my daughter's room, of course, I feel like she does this every single time. She picks the one room that has the biggest problem with airflow and air heating. Have no idea how she does this every single time. The other rooms don't have a problem, but her room is too hot in the summertime and too cold in the wintertime. And I don't know why. So I went and it's winter time now and it gets really cold in her room. So I saw and I also read reviews. So make sure you read reviews on Amazon. But this little space heater got so many good reviews and I ordered it for her and it actually works really, really well. It keeps her room nice and toasty. And what I love about it is it has an anti fire. So like it could never catch on fire. It has an off switch. So if it were to tip over, it would automatically turn off. This thing is pretty boring, but it's just an extra garage remote. Uh, love that I can just don't have to go to Lowe's to do that. Uh, I hate kind of going to Lowe's and went through rebates. So again, I, I'm not trying to repeat myself, but I love that I didn't have to go to Lowe's and it was like I got a little coupon for going through eBay. So I got a garage remote. The next item are beauty blenders. I've always used the Real Techniques, the orange ones, and I love those, but they kind of get a little bit expensive. And so I wanted to try like a dupe, a cheaper brand of beauty blenders. And these that I'm putting up on the screen for you came in a packet of five. And at my first experience with them was they're awful, they just weren't good. But then I realized that these are just very temperamental to how much water you soak up. So the more water, the worse they were to use. Uh, with real techniques, I feel like it doesn't matter how much water you put as long as you string it out or whatever. Uh, it was gonna work just fine. But with these, they just, you have to be really careful with how much water you're letting soak up in there. And then once I figured that out, they actually work pretty well. I also buy PlayStation games. Feel like you get some really great prices and i bought the tomb raider game my daughter loves uh, laura croft tomb raider and the brand new game just recently came out and i got that and oh this right here is a crafter's dream i got sick and tired sick and tired of going to hobby lobby to buy glue sticks and pay five dollars for a measly little freaking pack i mean my glue gun goes through these glue sticks really quickly. I don't know why, but I was like, no, I got to buy this in bulk. And guess what? Went to Amazon. Again, they provide all the solutions to my problems. And you guys, I got five pounds of glue sticks from Amazon for $18. So I don't know how many glue sticks that is total. This next thing is something that I got for my daughter for a stocking stuffer. Um, or like a present, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out, but it is this charging pad for, and it, it's compatible with the iPhone. So just make sure you're watching out for compatibility things as well. It was $21.99, but basically I think you just set your iPhone on it and it charges it. And I read the reviews and it seems to be really good. I'm really skeptical, skeptical about buying products for Apple products that aren't Apple products. So, but I read that this was pretty good. Next thing is also a little stocking stuffer, um, but I got her this electric heated eyelash curler. Never heard of those, but her eyelashes, poor thing, sticks like straight out so you can't even really see them. And I'm wondering how good this will be. I read the reviews again, seemed to be pretty good. So I got that from Amazon. I got a wireless mouse. Actually, I love this wireless mouse. I'm really weird about clicks and sounds of keyboards and mouses. Um, mice do you say that for this instance but i really love this one so i'll link mine down below for you here's another thing that i could have gone to sephora ulta or wherever they sell the mario badescu stuff but my daughter loves the mario badescu uh, rose water spray and then i was like let me look at some of their other stuff so i got some toner the spray a drying mask and this healing powder and Mario Badescu products are actually relatively cheap. I'm really surprised. They're compared to some of the makeup brands that are out there. Uh, I feel like this stuff is pretty cheap and it's 
name brand. The next thing you probably would have seen if you watch my vlogs, I got an Amazon package and some of my Amazon packages actually show up in my vlogs. So the, I wanted Holiday in Handcuffs. It is a movie with uh, Melissa Joan Hart and it's a really funny Christmas movie. The next thing that I got, you probably would have seen in my dining room makeover if you watch my videos, but I bought those picture frames that my daughter, the collage of pictures that I put, or the gallery, not the collage, the gallery of photos that I hung up with her senior photos. Got those picture frames from Amazon. They were $10 each. Makeup brushes also, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do reviews and use their makeup from brushes that they get from Amazon, like really cheap brushes. I got this one like bamboo set for myself for $10 and I got like a whole face set. I kind of like them. It's hard to compare because I've never had really great makeup brushes, but I guess they do the trick. I uh, also bought my daughter a Philips Sonicare Essence Sonic Electric Rechargeable Toothbrush. It's $24. I think that's pretty cheap. Whenever I go to Walmart and I see their, their fancy toothbrush section, they're like 100 bucks. So I was not mad that I got mine for $24. My hat with the C on it that I talked about, it was, oh, I thought it was uh, the Cardinals, but it's not. It's the Cleveland Indians. When I wore it the other day in one of my videos, I thought it was the Cardinals, but it's not. It's Cleveland Indians. My daughter needed new wiper blades. Got them from Amazon and replaced them on her car myself. My air filter, my air purifier, both of them are from Amazon. I'm obsessed. I use them every single night. And I can definitely tell a difference. I used to like wake up and be like in a coughing fit and then I in the middle of the night and then in the mornings I would wake up and my eyes would hurt so bad. They were so sore. It took so long for my eyes to adjust and I figured out why after I had my I think it's the air humidifier that's healing this problem. But I think what was happening is in the middle of the night, I sleep with my mouth open because I think I need surgery on a deviated septum. I can't really breathe through my nose ever. And so I'm unfortunately a mouth breather because of that. So I think that my the air was so dry in my room that my I was waking up in coughing fits because my throat was so dry. And now that doesn't happen because I have my humidifier on and so the air is a lot, uh, you know, it's not dry. So, and then my eyes, I realized that my eyes were probably doing the same thing. I was probably sleeping with my eyes cracked a little bit open. So they were getting really dry in the middle of the night. And the humidifier, I think has solved that. But also right before I go to bed, I put in some eye drops and I don't have any problems anymore. That's basically all the things that I purchased in 2018. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas of the vast majority of just all kinds of things that you can basically get from Amazon. I love watching these Amazon videos and seeing what other people love and buy because I feel like Amazon is the abyss. There's so much that I haven't discovered yet, so it's nice to kind of see what other people have already discovered and kind of takes all the guesswork out for you. Um, but anyway, that's basically what I get. Hope you got some ideas from that ebates down below and i'll try to link everything that i have down below thank you guys so much for watching this video